Good morning, Rosie. You don't want to get out of bed. I understand. Hello there, friends, and welcome back to our little house on the mountain, and welcome to a beautiful autumn day here on our mini mountain homestead. The chickens are up early, except Rosie, enjoying their breakfast, and in the garden, the zinnias, which bring such a smile to my face, are still in full bloom. And I've also still been getting handfuls of pole beans every single day from the garden, and it's already almost mid-October, so that has been a huge, huge blessing this fall. The days are shorter and the nights are getting much chillier and so in natural due course the chickens are trying to conserve their energy to stay warm and so they are laying less eggs. We want to make their coop area and their nesting box area as warm and comfy and cozy for them as possible to encourage them to continue to lay some eggs into the colder weather. So my wonderful husband is here just refreshing the coop, spraying things down, getting some new bedding in there for them and putting in some herbs. Fall means low production. So other than making the nesting box area cozy for the chicks, we also wanted to add some light as the daylight hours are getting shorter to the chicken run, but we didn't want to run any electricity. So we found a solar lamp on Amazon and I will link that on our website and also in the comments in the description box below. And so James was rigging up our solar charged lamp. And as you'll see at the end of the vlog, it ended up working out really, really well. No electricity and we were able to set the lamp so that the chickens will have extra light at nighttime. So on to more chicken spoiling, James wanted to also refresh their dust bath bathing area so that the chickens can continue to beautify themselves long into the cooler weather. Honestly, he is such a good chicken daddy and I know that we all feel so very blessed to have him. Mm -hmm. 
So lemon balm has absolutely been one of my favorite things to grow here in the garden year after year. It is a perennial here for us. It gets fuller and more beautiful every year and I can use it for so many things in a culinary sense and also medicinally. The smell is just such a beautiful addition to the garden. I love to have it in refreshing drinks in the summer and turn it into tonics and syrups and tinctures and teas in the cooler weather. And because the lemon balm has still been going strong, I wanted to grab some out of the garden today and make a delicious immune boosting lemon balm and ginger syrup. And as you can see, I am enjoying picking every single bean while they last. So the first step in making my lemon balm syrup is to chop up my lemon balm fresh from the garden. You can also use dried lemon balm to make this recipe and I'm going to fill my measuring cup part of the way up with my fresh lemon balm leaves. I will have this full recipe on the website and I will link that below. I am also going to grab some fresh ginger root and yes you can use dried ginger root for this as well and I'm going to cut my ginger root up into nice thin small pieces and add that to my measuring cup as well. to take a glass mason jar and add my lemon balm and my ginger slices somewhere out of the way where it's hopefully not going to get knocked over by dogs or kids or anybody else. And then when I have everything added to my jar, I'm going to heat up some water. I don't want it to be all the way to boiling, but I want it to be nice and hot so that it can extract the properties from the lemon balm and the ginger without killing all of the good stuff inside. So then I'm just going to put a lid onto my jar, put that aside, and set my timer for about an hour. And in the meantime, there's nothing quite like a pot of broth simmering on a cool autumn day. So after an hour or two, I grabbed my smaller jars that I wanted to store my syrup in and I squeezed lemon into the bottom of both my jars trying to distribute all of my ingredients evenly between them. So once I had all of the beautiful lemon juice out of my lemons, I wanted to strain the tea mixture that had been sitting in the mason jar also evenly between my two storage jars. And I used a mesh strainer and also a funnel because otherwise I definitely would have spilled this. And then of course, and possibly the most exciting part of this recipe is adding the delicious raw honey. So I also distributed that evenly between the two jars. And again, this recipe will be on the blog on our website and I will link that below. This syrup is beneficial for the digestive system, restlessness, allergies, and also for boosting the immune system. And bonus, it is absolutely delicious. I absolutely and truly love this time of day when all creation seems to be quieting down and readying itself for the nighttime. I love the sound of the falling leaves, the crunching leaves under our feet, and even sweeping the leaves. And I know that the chickens love scratching the leaves, so it is a win-win for both of us. So indeed, it was that time to wind things down, and I for one was really thankful for a productive day here on the homestead. We were really hoping that the solar light that James installed was going to work, and indeed it 
did. So here is a little peek of that. It was really nice and bright, so we are hoping that it is going to encourage the girls to continue laying a little bit more into the cold weather. Well, we wanted to thank you guys so much as always for coming back to our little house on the mountain and thank you to our patrons on Patreon for all of your support. Any information from this video will be on our website at ourlittlehouseonthemountain.com. We love you guys, we thank you, and we pray shalom over your home. See you next time, God willing. Bye.